How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a fun dumb video on it feels good in the hand in my opinion. We're going to be going on over several different smartphone designs and how they feel in the hand. Are they too big? Are they too small? Sharp edges? The build quality? And exactly how they feel if they're comfortable uh, or if they're not. And we got several different phones here. We got the Galaxy S23, we got the Motorola Edge 30 Fusion, LG V60, LG Velvet, now I'm even throwing in the LG G8, why not? Galaxy S22 Ultra, OnePlus 10 Pro, the Pixel 7 Pro, and the iPhone 14 Plus. And we're going to go on over the design of all of these and how they feel in the hand. Are they comfortable to hold? Are they heavy? Are they lightweight? And things like that. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here and click that bell icon that we get notified in future videos just like the one you're about to watch today. So going on over to the first one, we're going to start on over with the Galaxy S23 here. Very compact device. And this is probably the smallest one that we've got here other than the G8. And I have to say that this is very small. But one thing about this device is after using this and going on over to a larger phone like the V60 or even the Pixel 7 Pro, they feel huge after using this device. This is a very compact device. You do get some flatter edges on the back and on the frame. But as you notice, the frame does have a little bit of a round off right there. So it does feel a little bit more comfortable. Power button, very nicely placed, very right where your thumb lays. So the volume rocker at two, not too hard to get to. Fingerprint sensor is high up, so it's not too low. It's actually in a really good spot. Your finger la uh, rest over here does not cover any of the cameras or anything like that. You get nice rounded corners, so it doesn't really dig into your palm. And as far as being able to use the device, you pretty much can go all the way up to the top and you can go all the way over to the side. And if you got big hands, this is no problem. This is a very small and compact device. A lot of people are liking that nowadays. And I have to say that after using this, yes, it is small for my taste, 6.1 inch screen. But after using this and going on over to a larger device, I, those devices feel huge to me now. Like this is a very nice compact you put this in your pocket you won't have any issues going on over the frame you do get some sharper edges over here where the uh, frame meets the glass but not too bad you do feel that in your hand with that sharp edge but the frame actually itself being rounded off is a bit comfortable and it feels really nice it feels a little bit flat but still rounded off in all the right spots and like I said the button placement is actually really good when it comes down to the Galaxy S23. So very nice and compact. If you're looking for a compact device, go for the S23. Going on over to the Motorola Edge 30 Fusion. Now this is a very thin and lightweight device. You do get a metal frame on here. Power button actually in a good spot as well, at least for my hands, it is textured. So you can differentiate from the power button and the volume rocker, volume rocker, not too high, not too high on there. Uh, you do get curved edges on the front and on the back so that makes this phone feel a lot more thinner than what it is you do get a nice bevel going around the frame which is uh, not too sharp you do feel the frame a little bit more over here on the back but uh it's not too bad it actually feels really good in the hand the edges and the corners are rounded off so it doesn't really dig into your palm uh, it's not that heavy. It's uh, pretty lightweight. I do like the vegan leather on the back. It does feel really nice. It doesn't have any fingerprints or anything like that. And it feels nice. It actually gives the phone some grip. In the hand, your finger rests pretty well, not covering up the camera or anything like that. And as far as everything goes, it feels really nice and thin. This is a very thin and lightweight device. Not too big. It's very slender too. So it does have more of a slender look. It's not wide, so you could definitely reach on over to the side. And you can reach down from the top, of course. With a little bit of shimmying, but it actually feels really good in the hand. And I am a fan of this device. I've been praising this phone for ever since I got it. I love the design of the Motorola Edge 30 Fusion. Going on over to the V60. Now, this is a chunker of the device. This thing just feels huge. A lot of people didn't like that about the V60. 
it is a big and heavy phone. You feel that going from the Galaxy and this device, you know it. Look at that. Huge. So the V60 may be the downfall that it is a really big, thick, and heavy device. Power button a bit high for most people. I would have preferred it to be just a little bit lower. The volume rockers are on this side again being a little bit higher. So you sort of got to shimmy up to get to the power to the uh, volume rockers. Fingerprint sensor I think is a little low and especially on a device this big it should have been at least right here. It's very very low so you, chances are dropping this device. Uh, wielding it with one hand you might want to get a case. As far as the edges go uh, the back front, the back glass does blend into the frame pretty nicely. It does have a sort of a curve on the back, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable to wield. You do get this bezel, this uh, bevel going around the frame, and that is a little sharper when it comes down to that. But uh, as far as that goes, it is very thick. This curved rear glass does help with that, uh, making it a little bit more comfortable. The corners are rounded off as well. But this is a very heavy device. If you're thinking about getting an LG V60 and don't like big and heavy phones, you might want to think about it. But other than that, I love the V60, but we're not going to be biased here. It is very big and heavy and bulky. And you slap a case on this, it's going to make it much more bigger when it comes down to the size of the V60. Going on over to the Velvet here. Now the Velvet is a very thin device, like this thing is very sleek, very tall as you can see. So as far as reaching up to the top, you're going to do a lot of shimmying to get to the top notifications. But luckily, uh, we do get a lot of gestures to bring down the notification by swiping on the home screen. So that's really good. Power button a little bit higher up. It should have been at least right here. You do get some extreme curved edges on this device like going on over to the back and on the front let's go and give it a wipe down so very very thin frame going along here and this thing feels a lot thinner than the actual uh, motorola edge 30 as you can see right there so you do get a very thin frame going along you get an extreme curve on the front as well with the lg velvet corners are a little bit sharper over here not as rounded but they do feel really good in the hand because it's a very rounded off smooth corner over here so no issues there uh, you don't feel the edge where the glass meets the frame so that's really good actually it has a nice transition and a nice seam there so uh, you don't feel that intruding like on your thumb like usually you know i'll feel the edge on my pinky right here right where i lay my phone and that can annoy you whenever you feel the actual edge of the metal just resting on your pinky. So this one actually feels really good in the hand, very nice and thin. And it's a very tall device, so keep that in mind if you're looking to get a Velvet. It's a very tall, uh, bigger phone, but it feels a lot better than the LG V60. Going on over to the LG G8. Now this is an older device, but again, very compact when it comes down to being a very compact phone. It's actually bigger than the Galaxy S23, but this thing is very smooth and rounded off and actually a pretty slippery phone. You put this on the table, it's gonna walk off on you, but very smooth. As you can see the corners and the edges, really, really nice when it comes down to uh, the build quality in this. It's actually really compact and really smooth to hold in the hand. No power button. The uh, or so no in display fingerprint sensor the uh fingerprint sensor is on the back and actually is in a good spot right where your finger lays button placement power button a little bit high but not too bad and the corners again very nice and smooth and this thing just feels really nice in the hand yeah it is dated as far as the look goes but this is a very clean and smooth device it's very nice to hold it's a small device but it doesn't feel that small in your hand and it actually looks really good. You don't feel that edge where the glass meets the frame. It's a very nice transition and very nice edges of frame over here to hold the device and a little bit of a curved display. So not too bad as far as that goes. Fingerprint sensor, again, being on the back, so no issues there. So v, the uh, LG G8, very nice and compact and very smooth and round feeling. Sort of feels like a stone or something 
or a pebble from a, from a river or something very nice. Now we're going on over to the big boys here. We got the Galaxy S22 Ultra and yeah, this is a very wide phone, like very, very wide, very big, almost as big as the V60, as you can see right here. Just a very, very, it's, it's just thinner than the V60. V60 is actually a little bit taller than the Galaxy S22 Ultra and just a bit bulkier. But this is a very sleek device, as you can see right there. The edges and the corners are actually really good as far as where the glass meets the frame. No sharp edges or anything like that. No big gaps or anything like that. The top and the bottom does have a little bit of a sharper edge. So when you're holding this in your hand, uh, you will feel that in your pinky right here on the edges. And of course, very sharp corners on here. So if you have this in your hand, you're definitely going to feel it in your palm digging in there. Power button is actually pretty good in a, in a nice spot. The volume marker, again, being a little bit too high. Fingerprint sensor very nice spot it's high up on the phone to where you don't have to go all the way down here it's a very nice spot very comfortable i don't feel like i'm ever going to drop this device and it is very big it's very wide so getting on over to this side can be a little bit of a hassle with this one getting onto the top a lot of shimmying to get to the top unless you activate that shortcut but as far as that goes, holding these devices, like, they are huge. This is definitely a two-hander phone along with the V60 when you're trying to handle this device, especially like this. Using the S Pen too, definitely two-handed over here. You got one hand over here, and then you got the S Pen to uh, mess around with stuff. So definitely a two-handed phone along with the V60. It is a very thick and, well, not thick, but it's very sleek but it has some weight to it too it's almost as much as the v60 when it comes down to the weight very very heavy if you like big and heavy phones that's awesome but if you don't and you like smaller devices this ain't gonna be for you the v60 ain't gonna be for you because they are huge devices but still very nicely done very nicely built as far as uh, construction goes no sharp edges over here where the glass meets the frame it actually feels really good and nicely put together Going on over to the OnePlus 10 Pro, very, very nicely fun done phone. Like this thing feels really good in the hand. Fingerprint sensor is in a nice spot. As you can see right there, it's a little bit higher on the screen. Power button, very nice spot over here. Volume rocker, again, nice spot. You can get it to your with your finger over here. And you also get the alert slider, which is really nice. As far as build quality goes, where the glass meets the frame, very nice transition, no sharp edges. You do get a curved display and a curved back with those rounded edges on the back and on the corners. So this thing feels really good in the hand. As far as aspect ratio, it's not that wide of a phone. It's a very narrow phone. So that's really good. It does not feel too wide. So you could definitely reach on over to the other side and get to the top pretty well. As far as that goes, your cam your finger does rest on the camera. I've noticed right here, it will always get where the flash is at. And you do feel that notch right there. But as far as design goes, it's very nice and very comfortable to hold. Uh, it's not very wide. The corners are actually really nicely rounded off the frame. Really nicely rounded off as well. And it feels good. It's a nice size phone. It doesn't feel too big. It's a big phone, but it's not does not feel feel like a huge phone it's lightweight it's not as heavy and it just feels really good it also looks really good too this design of the oneplus 10 pro and it just feels really good it's nicely put together as far as that goes you get a matte glass on the back can be a little slippery sometimes but not too bad and i think it just feels really good in the hand and yeah that's the whole idea of this does it feel good in the hand or not and i think this phone really does feel really good Going on over to the Pixel 7 Pro. Now this phone definitely wider than a lot of your average smartphones. As you can see right here, it's a very wide phone. Almost as wide as the Galaxy S22 Ultra when it comes down to that. Very, very wide phone. And it has a good weight to it. It's a little bit on the heavy side. The uh, button placement, absolutely horrible over here. They should switch the power and the volume rocker. I'm always pushing the volume rocker to lock this device. I don't like the button placement over here. 
Uh, the edges are a little bit square, but they are rounded off, so it doesn't really dig into your palm too much. So that's a good thing. Your finger rests right about here on the uh, camera bump, so you're not really interfering with the cameras on there. And as far as everything else goes, the glass on the frame, as you can see right there, does not quite fit flush around the frame. You definitely feel that sharp edge of the frame where the glass meets it. And you could actually see it right there too. Definitely a bit of a sharp transition right there. It's not flush and you definitely feel that going all around the device. And you definitely notice that, especially if you have this in your hand, right where your pinky is at, you could feel that little sharp edge going along there. Same thing goes for the front as well. And you definitely feel that frame, but it does have a lot of frame on there to hold the device. You do get a curved front and a curved back. So that's really good. But you do feel that sharp edge right where the glass meets the frame. And I do notice that a lot. Like it's just a little bit too small. And it should have been more of a smoother transition over here on the Pixel 7 Pro. And the buttons, like I said, they need to be swapped around. Like I don't know why Google does this switching these buttons around just to mess with people i guess and the fingerprint sensor is actually in a good spot it's high up not too bad and the weight it is a little bit wet uh heavy and like i said this device is a little bit of a wider device going on over lastly to the iphone 14 plus now this is a bigger version of the iphone 14 series as you can see pretty large device and I have to say that it does feel pretty good. It's a little bit of a flatter side, so it doesn't feel as comfortable as the Galaxy with those rounded frame right there. This is definitely a true flat back, flat sides, flat everything. And I do like how the corners are rounded off. So that feels really good. As far as reaching on over to this side, it is a wide phone reaching on over to the top again. It is a tall phone and it's a very wide flat phone. You'll notice this. Slap a case on this. It's gonna be very noticeable as far as the button placement, power button being a little bit too high over here and the volume rockers, I think they're okay. When it comes down to that, you do get your alert slider or your mute slider right there. But I think the edges are a bit too flat over here. I know this is the thing that's going on right now is the flat sides and a flat back as but as far as the way this phone has been put together very very nicely done as far as the seam going around the glass and the frame feels really nice and clean the only thing i say like i said is these flat edges do make it feel a little bit thicker but it does give you more to hold on to and especially it doesn't have a curved display it's got a flat display it actually gives you more hand real estate to hold on to the device. But as far as being comfortable, I can see that edge being a little bit of an annoyance on there when it comes down to holding on to this for a long period of time. And slapping a case on here would just increase the bulk. And as the same thing goes with the V60, uh, the Pixel and the Galaxy S22, slapping cases on these huge phones is just gonna make it even worse when it comes down to putting them in your pocket and carrying them all the time. I, I wanna go back to the S23 just because it's very small and compact and I actually kind of like it. Like, I don't mind it at all. The, v the uh, V60 is just huge. The Velvet actually has a nice sleek feel to it. Sort of reminds me of the Motorola Edge 30 Fusion. OnePlus, definitely one of the more comfortable devices here just because it has that smooth design, that smooth back and those rounded corners. But as far as everything goes, I think uh, the Galaxy over here definitely feels really good in the hand. The OnePlus 10 Pro feels really good in the hand. And I would say the LG Velvet feels really good just because it's a very thin phone, very lightweight. And it doesn't have really any, any uh, sharp edges or anything like that. It's not heavy. It's not bulky. A little bit tall. And I think the ones that feel the worst in the hand are the V60, the Pixel 7 Pro, and the Galaxy. Those are just very huge phones iPhone actually feels okay. Uh, LG, of course, it's a very smooth phone. Actually feels like a little pebble. But yeah, this was just a fun video to go on over how these devices feel in the hand, how they look, how they're put together, and things like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, that's quite all right. I was just 
trying something here and i will see you guys next time here on sick air tech peace